Hello, my name is Erling Strand and I'm coming from Norway. I'm working as an assistant professor at Østfold University College, teaching uh, computer science topics. I have also been involved in Project Hestalen in Norway, trying to find out more about uh, strange UFO phenomena showing up in the Hestalen Valley, a small valley in the middle part of Norway. It's uh, only 15 kilometers long. And a big UFO flap started uh, late 1981 and lasted until late 1984 with up to 20 observations a week. After 1984, observation rate went down to 20 observations a year. Project Testal started and have done a lot of science work trying to find out what it can be, run several field works and uh, put an automatic measurement station in operation and we are running science camp for students. We are also cooperating with uh, different uh, scientists in different fields and they are doing scientific investigation in the valley and I will talk about what we have done about the observations and what has been the main achievement of Project Testalen during all these years. I started uh, my interest and work with a UFO phenomena back in 1978 when I had my first observation of a flying disc hovering above my head in the daylight. It was a disc-shaped object much like the Adamski type actually flying over my head and I saw the three legs clearly. That made a big impression on me and uh, I started to be involve myself in the UFO topic. Uh, later I have had uh, more sightings, uh, both of disc shapes and uh, other phenomena also. Uh, I've seen uh, light phenomena several times. Uh, I have had uh, actually three daylight observations totally and uh, several light phenomena. I have also uh, seen other things which are strange, which I think is important to find out, to research and uh, see what that can, what we can learn of knowing the phenomena, what it is. I think uh, we only know only a fraction of the, the phenomena. There are a lot more to be learned. Also another thing is uh, that uh, those who have such kind of sightings should be taken more seriously. It shouldn't be ridiculed. I think it's important to get the phenomena accepted as a real phenomena and uh, so it can be studied, studied scientifically.